the most common problem I see with even really established brands email marketing strategies. It's not having a dedicated sending domain set up. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you exactly how to set that up in Klaviyo and help you improve your deliverability. So let's get into it. Okay, let's get started. Now, first off, for those who don't know, when you do not have your dedicated sending domain set up, this is what your emails will look like when they come from Klaviyo specifically. You'll see it in a bunch of other service providers as well, but you see this right here where it says via at ksv2.klaviomail.com. First of all, not only does that look kind of shit, I mean, let's be honest, it doesn't look great. It also affects your overall deliverability because other people are using this exact same domain. So even if you have really good best practice and you're just adhering to all the rules, other people who are using that domain and are not adhering to the rules will negatively affect your reputation. So to make this go away and get your own dedicated center domain, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna head over to Klaviyo, you're gonna click settings, just down here in the left-hand corner, click settings, and then you're gonna click account, and you're gonna click email, just up here, email, and you're gonna click domains, right there, right? Click domains, and you're gonna click get started. It'll have here, dedicated sending domain. Now this is obviously in Klaviyo. MailChimp will be different, but this is get started. Type your root domain in here, which is your domain name, essentially. So if it was for my business, it would be inbox.co.nz, because that's the name of my agency's website. And then you're gonna click, or then you're gonna type in what you want the email address to come from. So if it's like hello, if it's info, if it's contact, anything like that, that's the domain name that you're gonna wanna add there. In the case of my one, I want it to come directly from me. I want it to come from Gavin at in-box.co.nz. So I just type in Gavin and I hit continue. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna give me a bunch of records. Now, I'm gonna show you what it looks like directly in my account when I see those records. So I'm gonna go over to my agency account and I'm gonna show you that the records have already been set up. So let's just go here, I'm gonna go settings go into email, go into domains. So as you can see here, we have four DNS records that we need to add to our domain name. So what does that actually mean? Here's the C name, right? This is the host. And then here is the value. I've blurred this value out, but you will see the value in your own account when you click setup. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to where your domain name is hosted. So where you bought your domain name is usually where it's gonna be hosted. In my case, I used GoDaddy for my domain name hosting. Some people use Google Domains, some people use Wix, Namecheap, I mean, there's a million out there. Whatever you do, whatever you bought it from, that's where you're gonna go, and you're gonna click Manage DNS, okay? So we're gonna go into here, uh, and we're gonna go into Domains, manage your domains. You're gonna find your domain name. Now I've got a bunch of different domain names here, but you're just gonna find your one and you're gonna find the option to edit DNS. Sometimes it's called manage DNS. Sometimes it's called configure DNS. You're just gonna find edit DNS and it's gonna give you all of the records. So as you can see here, here are the records. I've blurred mine out here, but what I need you to do is then add new records. You're gonna click add new record and it's gonna let you choose the type of record that you're gonna add. You're gonna go back into Klaviyo and you're gonna click C name for the record. You're gonna type in the name or the host and then you're gonna add the value. And you're gonna do that every single time for each record. So if I was doing it for my one, I would go, okay, let's go into C name, the host, and then the value, and I'd copy that here. And you just add each record each time. Now keep in mind, there are different types, right? They're not all C name, some of them are a bit different. And then you're gonna click back into Klaviyo and you're gonna click verify or validate. validate. God, I'm having a weird day today. Go in here and there'll be an option to click validate and then it will have your DNS records set up. So then when you send emails, like when I send emails out, I'll quickly show you. It doesn't have that shitty little via thing right there. It has uh, a cool 
looking dedicated domain. Let's see if I can find this here. Uh, Gavin at inbox. Okay, well, unfortunately, I can't find it right now, but that is the case. And then that's going to improve your overall deliverability. Guys, I hope you found that video useful. If you want more tips, there is a link to my newsletter just down in the description below. And if you have any other questions, just chuck them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them. But most importantly, if you wanna learn how to get really good at email marketing, subscribe to my newsletter in the footer section of this YouTube video. Thanks for watching.